Hey guys, my name's Sam. Welcome to Prepmatic. This week's video, we are reviewing the PAX Emergency Backpack 2.0. So if you didn't guess it from the color scheme, Pax is a European company founded in Germany that is just starting to come into the US market. In fact, their US branch only opened in 2020. Now, this brand has been around for quite a long time in European circuits. Uh, it is widely used throughout London, Germany, you name it. And they're very, very popular there. However, they are not something we see a ton of in EMS in the US. So make no mistake, this is an EMS backpack. It is not intended for kind of the everyday person. Keep that in mind as we go through the video. So I'm reviewing this pack. I'm also reviewing the modules that go into it. Now, this is a very, very customizable pack. So while the pack itself is the focus of the review, we're also gonna be going through some of the components you can get with it and how it can be customized. I don't wanna drag this out, so let's get into it. The outside is a very sturdy fabric that is completely deconable. They weld this very, very well, so if you've got bodily juices, what have you, you can wipe it off and it's not going to be an issue. We see that a lot in some of the USA uh, packs where they are a porous fabric and you get blood on them. It's very, very hard to get that out. So very deconable on the outside. You have bright reflective colors on the front. Now, early in my career, I would have said, man, I, I don't like the high vis stuff, but as I have almost gotten hit on the highway multiple times, I'm starting to really value the high visibility aspect of a lot of these packs. Now this comes in a number of different colorways. All of them are just as bright as this. Now, one of the really cool things you can do with this pack in particular is you can actually get it customized. You can get some lettering or numbers up here, lettering numbers here, and then you can get something put across right here. If that's your company name, your certification, whatever it is, they can do that for you for a little bit of an extra cost for this pack. And we'll talk more about the customization as we go through it a little bit more. So on the side here, you can see we've got these heavy duty feet. Now all of these can be changed out pretty easily. There's a little tab, you just pull that out, pull the feet off, put the replacement in. And then of course the bottom is no different. You've got four of them uh, down here. The back has these backpack straps in an easy stowable method. So. I like this because a lot of packs have the backpack option, but not everybody uses that. This one, it allows you to stow them pretty easily and then pull them out when needed. Now, we see a lot of times with a configuration like this, it'll be the entire pack, uh, and it's kind of a flat surface with the straps tucked way inside of it. What I've found with that is that it's relatively hard to transition between one or the other. This is pretty easy to transition them. So we have this, we can just unbuckle that right there, pull it out the side, and then this shoulder strap uh, is ready to go. I'll tell you right away, this is not the most comfortable pack as far as like hiking for a long distance. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend this for a SAR team that's gonna be putting this on for miles and miles and miles. Also, while it is not like astronomically heavy, this doesn't take pains to be like an ultra lightweight backpack. So just keep that in mind. The straps are comfortable enough as far as padding goes, um, but once again, it's this deconable material. So this is going to be a sweat manufacturer uh, if you are having to hike with it for any distance. You have little tabs here. You can throw on a chest strap pretty easily. And then again, it continues that high vis stuff with the uh, yellow right here and then some reflective stripes there. So coming into the pack, now I forgot to mention it's got two heavy duty handles. I've got no worries about these coming off. Um, I feel like these are very sturdy and the pack itself I feel like is very, very sturdy. I got a lot of messages on uh, Instagram when I posted kind of a teaser for this video and I, all those messages said we've had PAX bags forever. They've held up. We're still in the first version we had. I didn't have a single person mes message and say, oh man, I hate that product. It doesn't work at all for us. So. Uh, promising right there. Now, I don't get to keep these packs. I'm not paid by the company. I actually have to send all of these back. So, you know, this is about as unbiased as a review as you can get. Uh, the top of this particular backpack right here has a documents um, holder. So if you've got paperwork, an iPad or something, it can go in there. Um, I will say this is pretty well protected. It's not a hard case per se, um, but it does have some internal structure for it. There's some like inserts that are in these internal zippers that give it some uh, padding and some structures. So I'd have no issue putting our report writing tablet uh, right inside that pocket there. Uh, as far as the zippers, they're heavy duty zippers. Once again, no issues. And then this pack opens just like this and look at that organization. 
Um, so I don't have this loaded out exactly as I'd have it, but I did try to put in some thought uh, into how I organized this pack because I wanted to give you guys an idea of how things are supposed to go. Now, I did not consult with them about what everything is supposed to do necessarily. Um, so if I get, you know, something's in the wrong place or something like that, that's not the intention, you know, somebody call me out in the comments, please. It won't be the first or last time that happens. So this is one of my favorite features of this pack because we are not working as a single role provider. Like very rarely is somebody working on scene by themselves. I am almost always in a team environment on the helicopter. Same with the ambulance. We've got a ton of people we're working with and we've got a lot of people doing different things. That's why it's important to have a pack that's modular, that I can take one of these things, I can pull it out, and I can hand it to somebody that's doing the vital signs, and then I can hand the airway thing, or the airway uh, module to somebody that is doing the airway, sorry, airway module right here. Um, and that's really neat. Now, you'll notice how easy that came out, but if I turn this on its side and I shake it, none of these come out, and that's because this is a magnetic backpack. Now, um, I've had a couple uh, backpacks on this channel or some med bags that are utilizing magnets. And I have to say, I am a fan of this technology. Um, it makes things so clean. They don't wear out as fast as like Velcro uh, does. Now, not all of their packs have magnets in them. You can get a lot of different brands of their backpacks with the magnetic system. Um, but I think that's kind of a new technology that they're experimenting with. So as I pull this out, you can see these three kind of rings right here. And those are the uh, magnets right there. And then you've got three magnets here and they're in a grid pattern all down the pack. They hold it pretty sturdy, but not so much that it's really hard to get out. Would I dangle over a cliff and shake this upside down? Uh, probably not, but honestly, it keeps things pretty well in place. Now, even on our helicopter, we've kind of um, jury rigged some packs that go in there and nothing's secured to the inside. And that's what we use. Uh, they do have a flight version of this that does not use magnets. Um, if that's a regulation that you guys are facing, it has some cl uh, clasp closures over the front. So if that's something against your SOPs or aviation rules in your area, you can do that. Or if you know, that's what you have to do for hoisting, you can absolutely go that route. For us, I don't think there's any issue with us flying with magnets in the US uh, per se. So I would have no problems using this um, professionally. So. I really like the magnetic portion of this. Now, what's really cool is you can go online. It's a beta version of it so far. It's not flawless in how you use it, but I was able to get through it pretty easily. And it's their configuration machine online. And basically you can select the pack you want, select the fabric you want, color, all of that, then go and look at the modules. And you can actually visualize where the modules go and how they fit in the pack to make sure you're getting the right sized items before you buy it. Now, granted, my experience in like customer service in some of these companies is skewed um, because I have this platform, I've got some ins um, to that sale region, but I can say that talking to their US rep, he was super transparent about stuff, told me how things worked, and I get the feeling that they will work with you, send you samples, um, all of that, whatever you need to make sure you're getting the right stuff. Uh, if you're looking at purchasing, purchasing this for your department. Now in each of these modules, you'll notice it's got these like flags on it. This one doesn't, um, but this is kind of the marking thing they've come up with. You can pull these off really easily. You can throw in um, a little slip of paper and label what the uh, bag itself is. And then they also double as handles. Like I said, we really want to be able to take these and throw them uh, to other people. So let's talk about the individual um, modules I have in here. Now, I'll try to leave some of the uh, uh, model numbers of these. The naming scheme's a little bit confusing. Some of it's in German, some of it's not. Um, so I'll try to leave these in the links for each one of these ones that we're looking at on this channel. Right here, I've got their airway module. Uh, and I just tucked some things in the pack to kind of show it doesn't all have to go in a module. So, you know, these are, I'll take these out just for uh, simplicity's sake. This guy right here is their airway. Uh, a module for this. Now you can get a lot of different sizes of airway modules. I like this one because it had a couple of cool features on it. First and foremost, I love how these tubes are organized in here. So it's all magnetic here and the ET tubes can just sit in there and I can leaf through them, find the right size, pull it out and go. There's no like layering mechanisms. I've had packs like that. Our current airway rolls have that where you've got like your 7.0 tubes in their own container and your um, 7.5s and all of that. 
And what I find is it just doesn't help that organization. I leaf through it, it's confusing anyways. And I really like uh, this quick access part, uh, pocket. Now, um, to make use of the quick access feature of this, you could put like your super glottics or something in here, something that you can just grab and go with, but that's an option for you. Now, if we come into the bag itself, I just threw in some like normal airway stuff uh, in there. It's got these loop or this elastic loop field at the top. I found some of the loops a little bit big to like comfortably hold laryngoscope blades. So I'm not sure if this was truly their intention or if they have different packaging that they were uh, using this for, but you can see plenty of room for super glottics, crike, tube secure, handle blades. Um, pretty much anything you would need fits in this really simple pack right here. So. We'll throw this one back in it and we'll continue on with the video. So down here, I've got an IV module. Now, again, I didn't really ask them how these go or what they're supposed to be used for. So this guy right here is their like infusion module for this. Once again, you can get a lot of different sizes and I don't even know if this pack's supposed to go in here, but I've got the IO module on the inside and this is just a very simple uh, bag says IO right on it, comes like that. It's got a place for all of the stuff to store up top, your drill and some other stuff. Really, really easy. And then it just sits in here. Now, as far as I can tell, it doesn't actually secure to the bottom, but it doesn't really matter because it's in the case. Just be wary of getting like these things that are case inside of case inside of case. Uh, it can make things a little bit harder to access. Now, coming over here, I've got, you know, uh, 500 milliliters of saline, you could do a liter bag easily. Um, you've got the uh, drip set right here, and that can go some other places in here. I've got a sharp shuttle in one of these. Um, and then I've just got some angiocaths uh, right here that would be really easy to throw all your different sizes. And I think these are some of the longer ones you can get on the market, so I wouldn't worry about fitting IV catheters in there. They're really easy to organize. Back here, you could very easily throw your drip sets. Uh, and then I just have like some pigtails and stuff. And again, there's a lot of room over here. So I really like this module for IV organization. It's got kind of everything you need to start something instead of having like a roll with some IV catheters and your fluids somewhere else. It's just easy to have it all uh, in one place. I do believe you can also modify the colors um, of these stripes when you buy them on their uh, configuration uh, device. And you see, you hear that snap, it's kind of satisfying uh, there. And once again, not going anywhere. So over here, this is one of the more unique pouches. And I want to spend just a little bit more time on here. Oops, didn't zip it up. Um, but this is their medication uh, module. And they've got a lot of different sizes of this. This is just the one uh, that fit the best in here. It is a hard case. So this is not going to get crushed. This is not going to destroy all your medications, which I love. Currently we have soft bags um, and it's really easy to destroy your meds. It's also really easy to open it up and dump everything on the floor, which that's super embarrassing uh, if you've ever done it. So coming into it, we've got kind of your standard uh, configuration here. You've got these two uh, wings on either side. Now you've got these plastic compartments and these will fit your like standard ACLS meds. If you want to throw your box of Epi 1 to 10,000 each of those, it'll fit. These will fit some of your bigger ones, um, but not a ton of space for things like you know, your sodium bicarb, some of these bigger boxed uh, meds. But what's really cool about this is it's got this rail system right here. And I just threw a couple meds in here just to demonstrate it. You've got all of these little clips and it comes with 10 billion of them. And they just sit on one of these rails. So I can get this out for you. And they're not going anywhere. I will say it's a little bit of a pain to uh, set these, but once they're set, they're really, really sturdy. It's just something that you know, you're gonna wanna just sit down for a while with your team and work to get everything how it should be. Medication modules like this have to be modular. They have to be able to change because we are seeing a ton of different shortages of different meds, and we have to change up the setup all the time. I'd like to see this mechanism maybe a little bit easier because my fingers got really sore. Definitely have some pliers if you're gonna do it just to really clamp them down. Honestly though, it's not the worst I've had, um, but it's also you know, not the best as far as usability. Uh, and these just clip right back here if I can do it. There you go. All right, so like I said, these have these little grips right here. It says packs on each one, uh, whatever. I, I don't really care for that, but that's totally fine. Um, and it will clip in any kind of medication. Now don't be fooled, um, like because they're a European company first and foremost, they're marketing mostly to ampules. So when you go on their site, it'll say like ampule holder, it will hold any of your vials as well. Pretty much anything that says ampule will also hold a vial. Um, I've got these little uh, pre-filled 
uh, Narcan things that are a little bit skinnier, they hold in there just fine. Your vials hold. Even like some of these bigger things like this Nitro fits okay. Any bigger than this and these aren't able to accommodate them, you're going to have to throw them up in some of these pockets uh, right here. But obviously this will hold a ton of different medications. I, you know, a lot of what Europe does as far as EMS goes makes sense. Um, not everything. I don't agree with everything. However, I don't understand why they're still using ampules for everything. That, that one makes no sense to me. Um, I don't think we have a single med uh, that's in an ampule anymore. It used to be Epi, but even that we're not using it in the ampule uh, uh, space. So this goes right in here. Now, this one right here has a couple extra uh, features and only some of their modules have these features. So this guy just set up as like a vital sign module. This is one of their see-through packs. And once again, I'm gonna leave the links to all of these down below. And I have it set up as like kind of a first in vital monitoring uh, piece of equipment. So, you know, have these clear pockets. I've got my Emma, um, a uh, pulse oximeter. And then this pocket right here was not like automatically attached to it. It's attached the same way internally as the, um, name, as the name tags or the little handles that I showed you earlier were. And it can come out relatively easily. Now you wouldn't be like pulling these in and out on scene, but it does add a little bit more organization and capability to the bag. You can get things like this. You can get this guy right here. If you've got some smaller stuff, it can hook in there. We could do both of these at the same time. You can basically customize these packs uh, however you uh, want. Now in here, I just have like stethoscopes, some ace bandages, uh, blood pressure cuff, glucometer, all of that, but fits really well. And it's see-through. So you can't see through the whole pack, but you know, it's a good visual reference if you're not able to read a tag in a stressful uh, environment. All right, moving. Uh, right along with this. The last module is really, there's, there's not a whole lot special about this one, um, and there's not a ton to talk about. It's just one of their see-through uh, containers with a little bit more see-through plastic on the front, which I like, especially for something as far as like bleeding control goes. And as you can see, there's no real organization. I think it's a miss that some of these larger or longer compartments don't have the same feature to hold like smaller flaps like this. It would be cool if they integrated uh, this mechanism in pretty much anything. Uh, just because there's a lot of room for more organization. Obviously, the supplies in here are just kind of thrown in. Uh, some of you watching this are going to be like, man, that sucks. But like, honestly, you should see how we're doing things now. They don't have supplies uh, uh, like really micromanaged inside of it. So all in all, I think this is a really cool concept. Now, like I said, they make a lot of different things. Oh, made a mess already. They make a lot of different uh, modules and bags and securing mechanisms. And I like the Velcro. Um, it's very, it, it's more kind of akin to what we're using right now. But I really, really like the magnets for just their pure simplicity and how clean it works. Um, I like that there is organization thought out in these packs. There's, you know, you've got the elastic loops and you've got places where things are definitely supposed to go, but it still leaves uh, a lot of it open to your own interpretation. You're able to kind of fit your supplies how you need them to fit instead of them having a very specific idea of what you're going to put in each compartment and how you're going to store it. So that gives you a lot of different customization options there. I will say this company, if you go on the website and you can't find a single thing that works for you, um, they have a page that's basically like, hey, we're going to make you whatever you need to be successful. I'm sure that has an astronomical price tag to it. Um, I am sure uh, not everybody's going to be able to afford that if you're an outfit with like two ambulances. But it is an option to make something specifically for your agency if you've got kind of a weird uh, use case or something else. So if you have any questions about this pack, I'd love to hear them down in the comments below. Um, I'll link the website and all of these products and I look forward to seeing you next week.